Hi everyone, Brad Francisco here. But this time I would like to do a another Excel exercise, how to create a bell curve in Excel. So our purpose here is learning how to create the bell curve, okay, for our distribution, for our samples here. We, I got students who's got individual scores, then the thing that we're, the exercise that we're gonna do is we're going to find the mean numbers, the sigma, or the standard deviation, the upper and the lower limit. Then we're gonna get the uh, probability score. Then we're gonna start with finding the mean numbers. Okay, the mean numbers is just the average of the score of the students, okay? So just uh, equal sign, they, then uh, average numbers, double click this, and then highlight the score to get all score. So, all right, then go back, then close it. Okay, enter. Okay, we got the mean number or the average number of 52.55 of this given scores. Okay, we also have, I also have given these numbers. Okay, this is the X number up to 114, I guess. Yeah, 114. And the X number is just the value that we want to test the normal random variable, the normal distribution. Okay, then the next uh, thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the sigma or the standard deviation number of the score just equal sign, and then standard deviation is T, DEV, this one, double click, then get the numbers. With that, you'll get the standard deviation. Then close, then enter, okay? Next is we're gonna get the lower limit and the upper limit, okay? Just multiply the mean and the sigma to get the upper limit, lower and upper limit, okay? Then equal sign, uh, this one, remember? Remember about the uh, F4 or the absolute cell reference? Always put an F4, okay? In case we want to use this later on, it's already fixed, okay? So we put negative three, uh, our sigma steps, Multiply by uh, standard deviation, F4, and then that's it, enter. The, you got the lower limit, 55.87 of the, the average and the standard deviation. Okay, equal sign for the upper limit, uh, average number, F4, positive three of the sigma steps, okay? Then multiply by uh, the standard deviation, F4 again, then enter, okay? So the lower limit is 55.87 and the upper limit is 109.23, okay? Okay, we get the probability. I, I have listed here 83, it can be changed if you want or the percentile also, target of probability. What we're going to use here is the mean, or, the, or rather the norm mean, more norm mean V. Norm mean V. Yeah, this one. Double click. Okay, it's the probability that a value will fall within the interval in the normal distribution. That's how we get it. The first uh, one is the probability. We got to get that. Then comma, and then the mean number or the average, all right? Remember again, huh? remember again the F4 here? We forgot about the F4 of the, the percentile or the probability percentile F4, then press F4, okay? And then oh, we get the mean, just the comma, and then the standard deviation, this one. Then F4 again. Then you can close it now, then enter, okay? Score needed is 87.21.
now we'll start doing our distribution the normal distribution we're gonna get the norm norm this normal distribution of all of the numbers okay the first one is the x number um then the average f4 then comma the standard deviation f4 and then the cumulative cumulative is a logical value that determines the form of the functions okay in this case just put zero that's it then close it then you get the distribution then next is we're gonna copy it down you see if it copies down all the way down okay got it then the next thing is we're gonna do a logical test for area for area for x equals 83 you wonder where i get this 83 this 83 is actually coming from the cell e4 okay uh, we put quotation mark to capture the text that we want to capture in the cell L like this one area for x equal quotation mark then ampersand uh, symbol or and symbol e4 that's where we got our area for x equals 83 then we're gonna do a logical test if double click to get the open parenthesis okay logical test would be the x number this one c7 yeah is less than or equal to um, this your score okay e4 then again f4 then value if true distribution value if false nothing blank just put double quotation mark then close it okay there you get it then also copy it down it's not copying down all the way okay but yeah it's copying down all the way yeah okay all right you got it all you have to do is just now create the bell curve but uh, before that i'm gonna create i'm gonna transfer the mean and the sigma numbers here uh, i would like to use it as our title our chart title okay all you got to do is equal sign then quotation mark because when again we're gonna get the mean word mean okay mean all right then equal space equal space then we're gonna go we're gonna put the quotation mark ampersand or the and symbol okay that that one okay then uh we're gonna use the function round to round the numbers to i'm gonna round the numbers of this uh, okay open parenthesis first of this one mean because we're gonna get the mean numbers transferred here from here to here so okay f4 and then remember the round round two okay numbers decimal places all right all right okay the next one is the and symbol the ampersand again that one then quotation mark because we want, we want to try to capture the sigma word sigma okay just put just two spaces i think to separate it from mean numbers okay then write sigma the deviation number okay next thing we're gonna do is okay put a space then equal space again and then the quotation mark the ampersand that one then remember the round we're gonna use round just like the mean number round then open parenthesis then we're gonna get the number which is the sigma this time this one the f4 and then what else then of course the round two then close it that's it 
Okay, you got it. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to create now the uh, bell curve. Okay. Okay, first thing, we got to uh, highlight the X numbers. Highlight that one because that will be used, that, that will be included in our bell curve. Okay. Then highlight the distribution and the area for X equals 83, all the way down here. All right. Now we have highlighted the three area that we need to include in our in our build curve. Okay. So you just open the tab or insert tab, this one, then the area, this one, use this one, the first one. Okay. All right. It's not the right one. It's not the right shape. So we just click that and then delete. Okay, that's the right one. Actually, we don't need this one. We don't need that. We don't need this. Just delete that. But we want to find out is the curve itself, no? Because our theme for today, our exercise is how to create the curve. Okay. Then we're gonna get rid of the grid also. This one. Okay. Right. Delete. Okay, we got our curve now. Okay, what we want is we want to include the title. Okay, chart title is this one. Uh, layout, chart title, and centered overlay title. I think this is bigger. We're going to make it smaller. Okay, just open the tab home. Okay. And then lower down the size. Okay, size 14 is okay. And then we're gonna highlight the chart title. And then just click the formula bar. Okay, and then press equal sign. Then press this one, enter. There you have it, okay? There you have it, your bell curve. Okay, that's how you do the bell curve, right? Very easy. Okay, you do this exercise, review it and do this exercise for your uh, practice. And then next time, I'm gonna do the histogram, okay? So I hope you like this uh, video. And uh, if you like it, just su subscribe and share. And thank you very much, until next time. Thank you.